Today, we're back with another PSA return. What's up guys, we're back with another PSA return video. This is the third time I've started this video. My mic was off and then uh, I forgot to do something, but I also have a giveaway. So let's get into the giveaway. We have Abbas the Tormentor and Slife the Scry Dragon. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite card from this return and uh, you can win those. All right, we have the cards out. Let's see what we got. I don't even really remember all the stuff. It's a lot of newer stuff. The thing is I did get upcharged on these. I didn't do regular, which is $100 each. I did the economy, which is 50 bucks each, but we get upcharged quite a bit on these. So I hope that means we got some good stuff and they didn't just give us weird upcharges. Let's see. I remember we did send a Blackwing Dragon in. I remember we sent a Genzo in that I had for a while, but that's all I really remember. We got a corner. That's nice. Those are nice corners. Very nice. Beautiful. Service looks great. This looks like a newer card. I have several newer cards in this. I think only a couple older cards. I really don't know what we got up charge on. Okay, here's the Blackwing Dragon I was talking about. So I picked this up at the YCS, whatever it was called, Pasadena. I was like, where, where was this place again? YCS Pasadena. Someone traded me this and it looks pretty clean. So I figured why not send it in? Blackwing Dragon, we still have not pulled. So we need to pull one of those at some point. But I figured I'd send this in just because it's a cool looking card and, you know, Blackwing. So the back, like it's a little foggy, but that's just kind of how the print is so i don't know if that's going to take off centering on this thing looks pretty good for the most part it's slightly pushed that way but for the most part it looks pretty good corners are kind of hard to see on starlights because they're so like shiny you can't really tell if there's anything going on but it seems like these are pretty decent i'm gonna guess nine on this one just because the foggy back i think they might give it a nine but also you know i think it looks really good has a chance at a 10 so we're gonna try that one i mean this looks like a potential psa 10 i mean the corners look great centering looks right i mean the back looks super clean i don't I'm expecting a 10. It's a new card. Let's see what we can get. Come on. Oh, <laughs> I'm in nine. No. Okay. Well, this was certainly not an upcharge card, I would say. Blackwing Dragon. That's a PSA nine. What did I trade for this again? I, can't, I think it was a change of heart Pharaoh's rare, I believe. That was in the vlog. So go check it out if you guys missed it. Vlog video of, I think, Nationals. I can't remember. All right. We're starting it off with a nine. Okay. I've seen worse. We got corners there. I'm not sure why I got a nine, but it did. Got corners look good. I don't remember what my pre grade was. We got the back. You guys will see that. A little bit of a scuff. I think that's just on the case, though. All right, what else do we have here? We have, ch oh, here, speaking of change of heart, here we go. Change of heart, Pharaoh's rare. Looks beautiful in the lighting here. The thing about these is, like, the lines almost look like print lines, but they're intentional this time. So hopefully that doesn't, like, count off for anything weird like that. Uh, the centering on this card looks really good. Surface appears to be really nice. I don't see anything that's an actual scratch, not like the Pharaoh rare. Back looks pretty solid on this one. I mean, this looks like a gym mint 10 to me. I would say based on our quick assessment here, I think that this one has a potential of being a 10. It's a new card, so more likely to actually get the 10. So I'm gonna go PSA 10 prediction on this one. Pretty nice looking card, not gonna lie. I do like that. That looks, it looks nice with the artwork, I would say. Let's see what we got. Can we get the 10? Come on. Oh, let's go. A change of heart. Gem Mint 10, Secret Pharaoh's Rare. I wonder how many of these there are out there. I don't know. Maybe we can look up the pop on PSA. All right, that's a big pull. Change of heart, PSA 10. Let's go. Looking good. All right, next card up we have. I'm getting called by Team Samurai X1 right now, so I don't know what that's about. But uh, sorry, Sam. I'm going to have to finish recording real quick. All right, the back. Okay, maybe there's a line going through the middle. I think I remember this card. I think I remember seeing that. We have a Red Eyes Black Dragon, Secret pharaoh's rare centering on this does appear to be good surface appears to be nice a nice alternate art red eyes black dragon appears to be pretty good on the front Ooh, the back does have that line-ish thing so let's see about that it's like barely there what even is that it's like a very strange like not dent but like a roller mark kind of thing i'm gonna guess nine just because of that but we will see if that gets through it really doesn't look bad you can't even see it unless you're like doing that you kind of see it so i'm gonna go nine on that one red eyes i'm not sure what i predicted but let's see what we got our third card of the return red eyes with the this is the db1 art i don't know let me know in the comments do you like the db1 art or do you like the, the star deck joey slash uh lob art better i think i like the lob art better but i do like this one as well let's see what we got nine all right we got another nine so we've got two now why am i putting these over there we got a, two, a nine a nine and a ten so okay the red eyes would have been a cool ten but we'll take it all right what's next we have what appears to be another newer card i'm guessing this is the dark magician girl right we sent in dark, a dark magician girl didn't we i think one of them oh we did send a dark magician girl okay another pharaoh rare that we pulled this one was the centered one the first one i pulled that i thought immediately looked like a 10 let's double check it again since we checked it on live so we were kind of excited so we might have missed something centering is pretty good on this slightly pushed that way back looks pretty good like a slight like there's like a little tiny thing right there but not too much 
Corners appear to be pretty good on this card. I think that this one has gym at 10 potential. So we're gonna find out. I'm gonna go PSA 10 on my prediction for the Dark Magician Girl. Very nice. I mean, this appears to be what, you know, 10 quality to me, but we're gonna have to find out right now. Here we go, Dark Magician Girl. Let's see what we got. Did we get the 10? <sighs> no, a nine. Oh no, so many. The Secret Pharaoh's rares. I wonder if it's, I wonder if there's any scratches in the surface. It's really hard to tell because that's just what the foiling looks like. It looks like there's a big long print line, but that's actually part of it. Oh, another nine. Okay. All right. That's fine. We only have three cards left. So this is a seven card submission. Okay. It looks nice on the back. What, what do we even have left? Oh, the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Okay, from Toon Chaos. First edition, we picked this one up at the National as well. Pretty amazing, Chaos Emperor Dragon. Not the National, I keep saying the National. It was the uh, YCS Pasadena. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why I was confused, because I was saying it wrong. Nationals was in summer. There we go. Definitely not National, it was at YCS Pasadena. Here we go. Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. Back appears to be pretty good. Oh, what is that? We got a couple of little dents. That means it's probably going to not be a 10 for the most part. That's probably going to be a nine, honestly. Unfortunately, I didn't see that originally, but oh, well, we're going to send it in anyway. See what it gets. I'm going to have to go PSA nine, maybe even eight because of that. I don't think those are too bad. So it'll probably still get the nine. PSA nine Chaos Emperor Dragon. That's what we're going to go with. Can we get something good? I remember this had like a couple things on the back, so I'm not expecting a 10, but if it did get a 10, I will take it. Let's see. Chaos Emperor Dragon from Toon Chaos First Edition. Here we go another nine okay i kind of expected a nine on this one I, it would have been a kind of a it would have been a week 10 because look you can see right there i'm surprised like i guess if that's it it's not that big of a deal but honestly i wasn't even expecting a nine on that so it's not that bad we got two two cards left how do we get upcharged so much um i don't know all right here's the back what is this do we i think we have a couple order cards one's a genzo i don't remember the other one maybe we got a psa 10 genzo how nice would that be <laughs> that'd be cool uh i doubt it but here's the genzo secret rare looks really good a little bit of an issue on the edge right there maybe centering is pretty good on this one actually how's the corners yeah it's just that edge right there for the most part back appears to be nice corners look pretty good i think for the most part this one's a nice that little edge probably i think this one has potential to get a nine i'm gonna go with a nine on the guess fyi i also left this tab on here psa does not actually want you to use these so i've been telling me and other people have been saying you should use these for years you actually shouldn't use them they actually put out a thing do not use those so from now on just put it in a sleeve in a, in a top loader i think they or a uh, card saver i think they cut them open that's probably why they don't want you to use that so genzo very nice i think it's gonna be get a PSA 9. I don't remember. I feel like the corners maybe weren't perfect, but that's something that could usually slip by. So maybe maybe got a 9. 9 would be pretty sick. Genzo first edition. We've graded I think two PSA 10s ever. One was one I pulled and one was uh one from a collection, but honestly I'm not expecting a 10 out of this. So a 9 I'm actually going to be pretty happy with this. I think it's a little OC. Let's just see what it got. Genzo first edition from Pharaoh Servant. Here we go. Genzo, how did that get a 10? I mean, it was super minty, but here's the thing. I sent in a bunch of minty cards with those elemental hero returns and I was getting eights. So I was not expecting this to get the 10. That's why we got the upcharge. We, I bet we got a $300 upcharge. So it went from $50 to like 300. Cause I was expecting between eight and nine for this, which eight, honestly, I thought it was easily a nine, but you know, sometimes you get eights and you're like, ooh, that's, how is that an eight? That's what I was expecting. I was like, maybe it'll get that or it'll get a nine. I wasn't expecting a 10, to be honest. Surface is really good. We'll have the pre-grade. I don't remember why I didn't like this. I think it was like a corner thing. It was like slightly something, but all right, PSA 10. I mean, we can't complain about the submission. I mean, that's that's insane. That's like literally the, I mean, the most valuable card of all of them gets a 10, so we'll take it. All right, the final card. I remembered what it is. It's the Starlight Blue Eyes White Dragon. I believe I saw some print lines on this thing a little bit, but it's also kind of the rarity, so it might, you know, be okay. Uh, it looks really nice. I think it should be a PSA 10 and uh, we really don't need to look at it too much, but the corners look good. Centering looks good. There might be a slight print line in the artwork and then the back is super clean. So I'm going to go Jim Mint 10 on this thing. Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is going to be sick if we get a 10. I mean, this card was really minty. It was really minty. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Check out that flavor text. Super rare card. The highest attack and defense card. Too difficult to get. It is too difficult to get, indeed, but we did eventually get one. Blue Eyes White Dragon, Starlight Rare from OCG. It's in English, so it's a little weird, but it is actually an OCG card. They could pull an English card out of their set. Kind of like how we could pull Astral version, like if we could pull a Japanese card instead. That's how it would work. Blue Eyes White Dragon. If we get a 10 here, this is an awesome submission. Come on, please. Animation Chronicles, Blue Eyes, do it. PSA 10, here we go. 
Yes! What a way to end the submission. Blue Eyes White Dragon, PSA 10 to go along with the Jinzo. Oh my goodness. So this started off a little rough. I mean, we got the change of heart, but these were all nines. That is awesome. That is quite the return right there. Jinzo, PSA 10, and a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Whew. That is amazing. All right, guys, I'm super happy with this sub. The last couple subs, I've been a little bit disappointed because I thought a lot of the cards were minty, but this one I feel a lot better. About three out of seven tens, you can't really complain there. So hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more PSA returns and other Yu-Gi-Oh card openings, etc. And I'll see you guys in those. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, and Unatai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.